hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about the person on your mind. How do they feel about you now? Okay. So we're going to be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for the card selections. Okay. So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you now? How do they feel about you now? The person on your mind. Okay, so three of swords for pile number one. Pile number two, we have the queen of cups. And pile number three, we have the queen of wands, okay? So pile number one, three of swords. Pile number two, Queen of Cups. And pile number three, Queen of Wands. Okay? So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamp in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi pal one, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the three of swords and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below. So let's get started, my pile number one. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you now? So that person I'm getting with the three of swords, they feel rejected, okay? They're, they're heartbroken. Uh, maybe you guys are in separation at the moment, okay? Or maybe you guys, um, you know, parted ways. You guys are not in good terms, okay? And this person is feeling it with the three of swords. I just heard they feel like they're losing you too, okay? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Queen of Cups. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Four of Pentacles. They feel very possessive over you, okay? The person on your mind, wow, you see? Six of Swords, moving to calmer waters, but it's also moving away, leaving people behind, okay? And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Page of Cups. So this person wants to apologize to you. They feel like they owe you an apology for something that they said or something that they did to you, okay? I feel like it could have been something that they did, okay? Maybe they are, I feel like this person is a little bit controlling with the Four of Pentacles or they're rigid in their ways, okay? They don't like... Um, they don't like change because we have the wheel of fortune So I feel like this person has a hard time with change or moving on to calmer waters or like, you know Calling it quits like, you know, let's say if you guys are arguing this person wants to win at all costs, okay? And I feel like with the queen of cups like the way they feel about you is that you're very emotionally mature, okay emotionally balanced Okay, you bring some sense of security to them. Okay, emotional security. They feel safe in your embrace, 
safe in your presence. However, I feel like this person does not bring you safety. They don't bring you stability, okay? Yes, they are like, they could be a stable person in a sense that financially they could be stable, but emotionally, in other sense of the way, they're not really that good, okay? I feel like this person is not really good at expressing their feelings when um, about how they feel about you, okay? They always come off as cold, detached, this is what I'm getting from this person. And they definitely want to apologize. They feel sorry for something, okay, with the Page of Cups. Okay. So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Seven of Wands, okay? So definitely they feel like you are defensive. Person on your mind. Wow, guys, I can't make it up. Three of Swords again. Like you're rejecting them. Okay, this is how they feel about you, that you're rejecting them that there is more to you that meets the eyes with the pisces energy okay with the moon we have the nine of cups okay so i'm getting with the nine of cups like they feel like like you're a little bit selfish with the nine of cups because this uh, nine of cups is about wish fulfillment but it's all about like your wishes okay so this person feels like you are being a little bit selfish for putting yourself first because I feel like this is what you're doing right now you're putting yourself first you're having strong boundaries with this person you're not allowing them to walk all over you because maybe at one point in time this is what they were doing I feel like this person is very stubborn as well they don't like to take no for an answer maybe you're Pisces you're probably highly intuitive or maybe you have moon and Pisces okay so the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have Ace of Pentacles, that you are somebody who is stable, reliable, trustworthy. Okay, you're really good with money. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the sun, okay, victorious with the sun here. Beautiful, have a lot of integrity, okay? Very confident as well, that's how they feel about you. We have the King of Cups. Wow. So we have the Queen and the King of Cups. So they feel like they are a pair. Like you guys are a pair. You guys match. But I feel like they could be the King of Cups as well. But they hide their emotion very well. The person on your mind. How do they feel about you? Wow. Ten of Swords. Painful ending. Just how they feel about you. I, um, I'm also getting like they feel betrayed because you're leaving them behind or are you rejecting them with the three of swords? Wow, seven of swords at the bottom of the deck. They feel like you're trying to get away with something. But I feel like it's them projecting onto you because they're the one who wants to apologize. It's not you. So, spirit, how did... Okay, so we have, wow, do we have the hair font? So, marriage... We have the Ace of Cups. That's how they feel about you. They have a lot of love for you with the Ace of Cups. Okay, even though they don't show it, but they do have a lot of love for you, okay? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Six of Cups, okay? Somebody from your past. They feel like they have like this connection with you. It's very powerful. It's very strong, okay? They can't, um, they can't shake you off. We have the Ace of Pentacles again, okay? So you're definitely solid. Um, you have like a solid foundation. You're very reliable. You're trustworthy, okay, with the Ace of Pentacles. And with the hair font, they feel like you are marriage material, okay? Because the hair font represents contract, represents marriage, it represents tradition. So very traditional as well. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? person on your mind you see six of swords that you're moving away and what do we have here we have the lovers like I said this person feels like you are the twin flame they're soulmate that there's a strong connection they're very attracted to you they have like their love for you is genuine but I just feel like this person has like uh, problems showing their emotions showing their true feelings okay they like to hold on to it they like to suppress their feelings at a, as a means of not getting hurt okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah nine of pentacles that you are abundant okay self-sufficient 
they know that you know if you guys part ways that you'll be fine with the nine of pentacles okay you are self-sufficient you're reliable you're reliable okay you're an eligible bachelor bachelorette we have 10 of pentacles okay so they definitely feel like they could build a solid foundation with you they could have the 10 of pentacles with you because we have the ace of pentacles twice so definitely solid foundation reliability trustworthy okay and 10 of pentacles here definitely that's how they feel about you that they could have it all with you everything that they dreamed of okay because you're very traditional i feel like this person never thought of marriage before they met you so the person on your mind how do they feel about you we have ten of wands Okay, so they, even though they feel like, you know, they could have the Ten of Pentacles with you, but with the Ten of Wands here, they feel like it's like a lot, like a lot of hard work because you already have one foot out of the door. You're already leaving, okay? You're in your heart. I feel like you're emotionally withdrawing from this person, okay? And they could sense that. And that's why I feel like they want to apologize to you before it's too late. You see, they're very attracted to you, sexually attracted to you with the Ace of Wands. Okay. So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? How do they feel about you? The person on your mind... How many cards did I last four cards? Just one, please. Person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay, so we have the sixth house, sustainability. That's uh, Virgo energy. So you're very stable, like I said. Reliable, trustworthy, okay? They know that with you, they can build a um, strong foundation. They can, be, they can build a lasting foundation with you. A beautiful home a beautiful home life okay this is how they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you just one card please okay what do we have here okay square semi square and Quinn Cooks, I think that's how you say it. Maybe not, but sorry about that, guys. We have tension. So didn't I say this is like similar to the Three of Swords? Okay, rejection. We have Ten of Swords. So definitely, they feel like there is tension between the two of you. Okay, definitely. This is how this person feels about you. There's a lot of tension in the connection. You guys are not seeing eye to eye. This is how they feel. Okay, and this is why they want to apologize to bring you guys to calmer waters as well because the Six of Swords is like coming, you know, agreeing to something, uh, you know, you know, seeing eye to eye. We have Jupiter, abundance. So this person feels like you're very abundant and we do have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is another abundance. So you could have, um, you could be also a Sagittarius with Jupiter or a uh, Pisces, okay? So spirit, how does this person, the person on their, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay, we have Capricorn, achieve. Okay, so definitely you are a go-getter. This is how this person feels about you. With the Nine of Pentacles, definitely you have to be very structured, very disciplined to achieve the Nine of Pentacles. So this is how this person feels about you. And we also have the pay, uh, we also have the Ace of Pentacles twice. So definitely solid foundation. This is how they feel about you, that you are very strong, that you are determined, okay? You are definitely a go-getter with the Capricorn energy. You achieve everything that you put your mind to, okay? You're also a high achiever. You like to go above and beyond. You don't like to be mediocre, okay? This is how this person feels about you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? One card, spirit. One card. Thank you. Okay, so we have... Uh, trying uh, sex style and we have sim voices okay so I'm getting like everything is coming together with the sim voices okay this is what I'm feeling about this person 
this person feels like you're very um, agile as well and that you move you put things together like everything works out for you okay Wow we have Aries act okay sorry about that guys so we we're at Aries so act so you're definitely a go-getter okay this is what I'm getting from this person this is how they feel about you that you are a go-getter would they act in Aries so you have you could have Aries and Capricorn in your chart very powerful okay you have a lot of confidence in yourself as well you are a trend center this is how this person feels about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you how do they feel about you okay that's way too many okay so one card please thank you we have descendant invitation okay so definitely this person feels like you're very um grounded this is what i'm getting with the invitation in descendant okay you follow your lead you follow your dreams okay you're not very easily influenced i'm getting okay like the way you present yourself is very nurturing as well this is what i'm getting with the invitation okay so it's not uh, threatening the energy is very calming so this is how they feel about you and this is why they feel like you're very traditional that you would be like a great parent or a great partner with the descendant okay spirit how does a person in the collective mind feel about them one card uh no that's three one card please oh gosh <laughs> Oh man, one card. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. One card, please. The person on your mind, how do they feel? Thank you. Oh wow, debilitated, discomfort. They're uncomfortable yeah okay because it says debilitated so discomfort they're uncomfortable with the fact that you guys are not speaking okay you're standing your ground to this person you're having strong boundaries um i feel like the connection is not as it used to be okay there's a lot of tension because we did have tension here yeah you see and it's um uncomfortable for this person the fact that you guys are not speaking, it makes this person, like, it gives them a lot of anxiety. Because I did see the nine, of, the nine of Swords. It didn't come up, but I did see it when I was shuffling. And I did see the Eight of Cups, okay? They feel like you're emotionally withdrawing from them. Yeah. Okay. And we do have progressions, journey. So this person wants to stay on this journey with you. But they feel you um, like separating from them, okay? Like moving away from them. And I don't feel like they really like that. That's why they're in discomfort, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye! Hi Belle 2, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the Queen of Cups. So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings. So my pal number two, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay. So they feel like you're very nurturing, okay? Um, very intuitive with the Queen of Cups. So you could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Okay, don't have to be. So.
So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Wow, we have the Queen of Wands, very confident, beautiful. I just heard exotic, okay? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Wow, we have um, Page of Swords. Okay, Page of Swords. We have the Four of Cups that came right after. And we have the Ten of Swords, okay? And we have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords came out and I put it back in the deck and now it's coming out again. Oof, like Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords, it's not really good energies. Okay. Um, this person may have like some mixed feelings, okay? Because a, a one part of them is like the Queen of Cups. You know, they feel like you're very nurturing, very beautiful, okay? Um, with the Queen of Wands, okay, very powerful, uh, go-getter, okay, like a passionate lover. But we also have the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is like a card, like, like it depends on the energy that's surrounding it. But the Page of Swords could represent, like, you know, gossip, spying, okay, um, slander, you know, taking notes, okay, studying somebody very closely, okay. And we also have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups speaks of missed opportunity. It, miss, it speaks on boredom, okay? So I feel like this person feels like you may be bored with this connection or maybe bored with them and that you're thinking of moving away. We have the Ten of Swords. This is like, you know, a painful ending or ending things without warning. This is how this person feels about you and they are having a lot of anxiety. You bring them a lot of anxiety. They can't sleep at night with the Nine of Swords. They're always thinking about what's going to happen next. I feel like you guys are not communicating well or not communicating at all. And like there is some sort of a misunderstanding, okay? So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, you see we have the devil, entrapment. How does the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have, wow, the devil and the magician. This is like magic, okay, this could be spells. And we have the wheel of fortune, but it's in reverse. This is bad luck. Things are not moving in your favor. It's counterclockwise, right? So it's moving the opposite way. So it's not moving in your favor. It's not um, abundant. Okay, so they feel trapped. Wow, five of pentacles. This is how they feel about you. Like you're leaving them behind or like you're distancing yourself from them. That you're like you're bored, you're giving them a lot of anxiety. This person feels anxious about this connection. They feel anxious about you. I feel like they're also obsessive over you with the devil. Okay, they feel stuck on you. This person that may be getting terror readings done on you as well. Okay, I'm getting with the magician and the devil. We have the ten of pentacles. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, that you see the the pay, um that's the knight. Of Pentacles, the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Guys, this Ace of Swords is the truth. How do they feel about you? Wow, Page of Cups. See, they want to apologize to you. They may have done something to you. Maybe they have betrayed you with the Ten of Swords. Okay. And now they, they're feeling like the lost of you or like you moving away from this person or like, you know, pulling your energy back. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is a solid foundation, um, building something with somebody, okay, building a family, building a business. But we have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy. So like, you know, taking your time, hesitating. So I feel like this person feels like you're hesitating about like moving to the next level with this person. You guys may not be um, official yet. It could be like you guys are dating, seeing each other, but I feel like this person thinks highly of you, but they feel like you're pulling away. They feel left out in a cold with the five of pentacles. Okay, they feel like you're rejecting them. Okay, and we have the ace of swords. Like there's some sort of truth that's coming out regarding this connection, regarding them, okay? And I feel like they want to apologize. Maybe this person may have some sort of addiction, 
okay they may have some sort of addiction they may have some sort of like um reoccurring patterns but i'm really getting this person's getting tarot reading dawns on you this is the vibe that i'm getting from this person okay they may be into tarot and you don't know okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you yeah you see they feel like you're breadcrumbing them page of pentacles okay that you're cold with the king of swords Okay, you're not really communicating with them or when like before when you guys initially start getting to know each other you were more in the queen of cups energy queen of wands very interested very passionate but now you're more the king of swords you know you're more cutthroat you know straight to the point okay no feelings involved this is what i'm getting here and we have the page of pentacles like you're treating them like a friend more than a lover this is how they feel okay we have the fool so with the fool, the fool could be like an energy of like walking to the beat of your own drums, being, you know, very optimistic, okay? Seeing the glass half full and not half empty, taking a leap of faith. But I feel like you're not really looking to do that, okay? Because we have the page of pentacles and the king of swords. Like you're being very calculative before you make your move. This is how this person feels about you. Yeah, you see, we have six of swords. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Ten of Wands. Maybe they feel like you have a third party because the Three of Pentacles could represent third party. And it doesn't have to be another person. It could be your work. It could be your goals. It could be, you know, your children if you have children. It could be something that they feel is like an interference in this connection that's making it hard, okay? That's making it challenging for you guys to come together. This is how this person feels about you, okay? But it could also be another person. But I'm really getting it could be like, you know, your other uh, commitments, okay? Because the Ten of Wands could also represent commitments, obligations, Okay, this is how this person feels about you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Wow, you see the wheel of fortune again in reverse, guys. I can't make it up. Ten of yeah, the wheel of fortune in reverse. Wow, guys, seven of swords. Okay, ace of cups. So this person feels like you are lying okay the seven of sources here the lot this is uh, lying and being deceptive okay and we also have the ace of cups you may be lying about some uh, a relationship you're lying about your maybe you're hiding your feelings okay you're denying your feelings maybe you're trying to get away with that okay you're not trying to express yourself fully this is how they feel about you that you're hiding yourself you're hiding how you truly feel about this connection you're holding back this is how this person feels like you know and with the wheel of fortune it's like not really a good card to have in reverse and we have it twice in reverse that's bad luck okay the luck is reversing so this is how this person feels about you like they're not having any luck they're not ha having any abundance with you not because you're not abundant but it's because the relationship is not moving the way they thought it would move okay this is how this person feels about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind wow second house resources you could be a taurus we have ascendant entrance they feel like you're resourceful that you have a lot of money okay that this is why they feel like you're kind of like you feel bored with them because maybe you feel like they don't bring nothing to the table like maybe they f i'm also getting that they feel like you're not being honest with your feelings with the seven of swords okay you're being deceptive you're leaning i feel like they're think that you're leading them on that's how they feel about you because we have the page of pentacles this is like a small offer but it's also leading somebody on this is how they feel about you okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you okay exploration okay this is sagittarius energy okay oh so this person feels like you're exploring your other options okay because we do have the three of pentacles 
we have Neptune vision okay so they feel like you're very intuitive okay like I said earlier because we do have the Queen of Cups so you could definitely have Pisces in your chart you could have Pisces you could have um, Sagittarius you could also have um, maybe your as your ascendant is Taurus Pisces or Sagittarius here because these are the three um, energies that I'm getting here okay don't have to be but this person is like um, yeah they feel like you're exploring your other options because we have exploration here ninth house Sagittarius energy okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you what do we have here we have Capricorn energy okay so they feel like you're a high achiever okay like this is why I was getting like the third party could also be in your work your job your goals because Capricorn is all about work okay accomplishment okay achievement getting things done okay being strategic okay being focused disciplined this is what Capricorn is about okay and this is how this person feels about you you're more focused on your resources you're more focused on exploring expanding okay this is what I'm getting here the person on your mind how do they feel about you like they feel like you're not really interested in this connection because we also have the four of cups okay this is like boredom yeah the person on your mind how do they feel about you okay uh cross pollinate gemini so you could be a gemini here yeah you see you're you're more you know interested in the getting other things done you're more interested in like you know light heartedness you're not looking for something serious with the gemini energy this is what i'm getting here the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind okay that's way too many cards one card please oh thank you oh wow opposition confrontation this is how they feel about you okay and we do have the ten of swords this is like a card of confrontation as well opposition so you guys okay so i feel like this person feels like you guys are not on the same page with the opposition okay this is how this person feels about you that you guys are not on the same page like you guys don't want the same thing i feel like there's also um communication uh where this person doesn't know how to communicate with you or does not understand you okay there's also some sort of lack of understanding here the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow we have the past south node and then first house aries energy arrival okay so yeah you're very um i'm getting also very mysterious because we have the eighth house this is scorpio energy mystery and first house Aries energy so a lot of Mars energy here because they're both ruled by Mars and I feel like right now you're putting yourself first this is how this person feels about you they feel like you could be a little bit selfish because you're like you know putting your needs before theirs like you're not really focused on them you're not giving them a lot of attention right now you're just more focused on your business you're more focused on your family you're more focused on growing what you like the seeds that you've planted okay and this person is not really taking this well they feel like you know you're ending things with them but they want to apologize for something with the page of cups okay i don't know what they did maybe they're the one who betrayed you and they're trying to project it onto you you're taking a step back from this person you're reevaluating what this person brings to the table to you before you take that leap but right now you're just more focused on your business you're more focused on yourself this is how this person feels about you okay so that's all i have for you my pal number two i hope this reading resonated if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i hope to see you in my next video pal number two bye hi pal three welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pal number three you picked the queen of wands 
So this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three, if you would like to know the decks that I'm using today, I'll be listing them in the description box below, okay? So let's get started, my pile number three. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Okay, so they feel like you're very sexy with the Queen of Wands, okay? Very um, attractive, okay? A go-getter, a self-starter, okay? Very confident. I'm getting exotic as well. They're very attracted to you, okay? They think highly of you as well. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Wow, we have the world. I just heard international. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the page of wands, okay? So very exciting, okay? They love to be in your energy. You bring them a lot of joy. You make them feel like a kid again, okay? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? We have the Four of Cups. I feel like with the Four of Cups and the Page of Wands, it's never a dull moment with you. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Wow, the Page of, no, this is the Knight of Cups, okay? They feel like you're very romantic, very sweet, very charming. We have the Ace of Pentacles, okay, that you're very trustworthy reliable okay that you are like a great catch that's how they feel about you okay i'm really getting like they like to go out with you they feel like you're very um emotionally um connected like the connection is very strong with the knight of cups they feel like you're very charming as well like you're very sweet they like to be in your energy i feel like this person is very like drawn to your your beauty to your sexual energy like you know your sex appeal is very strong it's very potent and this person really likes that okay so some of you could be like celibate here okay wow you make this person happy with the ten of cups yeah you bring them a lot of joy this is what i'm getting from them okay very um happy energy okay yes we have sagittarius energy they feel like you're wise with the temperance they love your personality. This is what I'm getting here. Your personality is what's drawing them most to you. Yes, your physical appearance is very appealing, but the way your mind works, the way you think, the way you see the world, okay? Very philosoph philosophical, okay? <laughs> oh, I can't even speak, guys. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this person feels like you're very, like, wow, the star that flew out, <laughs> beautiful. You have a very healing energy with the star here you could be an aquarius okay very quirky different this is how they feel about you and you see how i'm speaking so happy like this is how you make this person feel when they are in your presence they just feel like you know a breath of fresh air you bring like interesting topics to them okay so with sagittarius and aquarius this is like a really nice combination like the way you your mind works is just out of this world you look at things from a different perspective it's like you're always one like 10 step ahead of like the crowd so you're never like um you know you don't follow the trends you set the trends okay this is what i'm getting here with this person like this is how they feel about you wow we have the sun here yeah this person thinks highly of you with the sun they feel like you're very confident like you have a flamboyant personality you you know you're very like um optimistic okay very um i'm getting like you're somebody also that's how they feel about you like you're somebody who is like you're not afraid to show off your skills not in a negative way where you think you're better than others but you're just confident in what you bring to the table so you're not afraid to show it off and you're not afraid to teach others as well so because you know that you got it you don't have to worry about who's trying to copy you who's trying to steal your ideas because you know that you are the originator okay the trendsetter so you're not worried about who's copying you okay this is how this person feels about you okay they feel like you're also very successful popular as well 
like people love you everywhere you guys go like people just like to be in your energy they like to talk to you with the star here you just make people feel at ease and they feel at ease in your energy as well okay so the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow we have the high priestess they're mysterious okay highly intuitive you know things about people that they don't really like to say okay maybe like this person knows that you are into tarot we have the king of wands so you see they feel like you guys are a pair or a match okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind that you're very strong with a nine of wands that you've been through a lot but you you don't walk around with a chip on your shoulder you let things go you've healed okay you don't like you're not like the others okay so this is what i'm getting this person feels like you're not like the others that they've met okay you're very different okay especially with the star here this is a queer energy okay or original this is what i'm getting here this is how this person feels about you they really like like um your energy where you have like this mysterious energy to you but still you still show your personality but there's more to you that meets the eyes okay whatever you show yes this is you but there's like more layers okay just like an onions there's a lot of layers to you you're not superficial you're not shallow this is how this person feels about you and they want to know more okay like they've never met somebody like you the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind okay we have the three of cups okay three of cups is an energy of joyfulness okay collaboration working well with others it's also a card an energy of friendliness so okay, they feel like you're very friendly okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you Okay, seven of cups. Ooh, they feel like you have a lot of options when it comes to love. Okay, people like to be in your energy. The person on your mind, we have the king of pentacles. Okay, very reliable. Okay, self-sufficient. Okay, a boss with the king of pentacles. Very resourceful. We have the queen of cups. Okay, very loving, emotionally stable. Very mature with the queen of cups. Okay, very caring energy the person on your mind wow that they feel like you're very strong too like intelligent with the queen of swords that's why they love your mind they love the way you communicate and we have all the elements here so definitely magician energy they feel like you're highly skilled here okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you the person on your mind how do they feel about you we have the five of pentacles but it came out in reverse okay so they feel like you are somebody who's been through a lot in your life that you were able to build yourself up from the ground up okay because the five of pentacles is coming out of the cold it's coming out of poverty okay the lack mindset you came out of that so maybe you told them what you've been through in the past and how you overcame that and they feel like you're very strong yeah with the devil here they feel like you're very strong very disciplined okay you are like you have um great strength of character with the devil here okay very disciplined this is how they feel about you you're very focused they also feel like you, you could be a little bit of a workaholic with the devil but they love that about you okay wow nine of pentacles self-sufficient that you build yourself from the ground up like i said this is how this person feels about you okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you okay we have the ace of cups we have the king of swords so you see another match king of swords and queen of swords and ace of cups they feel like you have a healthy amount of self-love okay and they have like they think highly of you this person has really good energy towards you okay they put you on a pedestal as well I feel like this person is as confident as you because they're not worried about the seven of cups you having a lot of options they understand that with what you bring to the table a lot of people are going to want to flock to you a lot of people are going to want to be in your energy and they're not worried about that this person is as confident as you okay 
this person sees you as their match like very like this is what i'm getting like they love your looks okay don't get me wrong this person feels like you're very attractive very sexy with the devil here okay but that's not the only thing that attracts them to you it's really your mind that's the main thing they are in love with your mind okay more than your body more than your looks So the person on your mind, how do they feel about you? My pal number three. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Wow, guys, Capricorn, energy, achieve. And we have opposition, confrontation, okay? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? There's a lot of opposition in this connection, okay? There could be like an age gap. Okay, this person could be older than you or you're older than them. So there's some sort of op opposition here in this connection where maybe there's some things that you guys are not seeing eye to eye in or maybe some people around you are not happy that you guys are connecting. Okay, but I'm getting like you guys don't really care about that. Okay, yeah, we have solar calm clarify. Okay. The person on your mind how do they feel about you but you see we have capricorn energy here so you could definitely have capricorn in your chart okay no we have that's too many cards one card please thank you we have saturn so a lot of capricorn energy here structure okay you're very structured and you're disciplined okay with the saturn energy okay you're definitely a go-getter this is how this person feels about you you bring a lot of clarity to them okay a lot of like good energy even though there is like some sort of opposition here okay so this you guys could be very different from each other so the opposition could be like you know maybe you're black and this person's white or you know the other way around or like it could be like your religion is different or you know your your like i said age gap is different there is some sort of opposition here but i don't feel like this is like a big deal like i don't feel like you feel like it's a big deal or this person feels like it's a big deal it could be people around you that may like be opposed to you guys coming together okay this is what i'm getting here so spirit the person on my phone number three is mine how do they feel about them okay we have Jupiter abundance, okay? So you could have um, you could have Pisces or Sagittarius energy, okay? Very abundant. It's not this person feels about you. They feel like you're very lucky too, okay? But I feel like it's more um, Sagittarius energy because we have Temperance and we have the Queen of Wands, okay? The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Sweet 20 cards, just one, please. The person on your mind, how do they feel about you? Yeah, that's too many cards. One, thank you. We have dignified strength, okay? You're very strong. You're very, um, well, dignified, okay? You have a lot of integrity. This is what I'm getting here. This is um, Leo energy with the strength card, and we have the purple, so royal regal okay this is how this person feels about you and we have a lot of purple here too okay we have purple here purple here and purple here so a lot of purple a lot of regal energy this person this is how they, they think highly of you this is what i was getting here okay and we also have um the sun card that's leo energy as well so very regal very strong very powerful okay like they like you know they really see your beauty shine from within is not just on the outside they they feel like you have a beautiful personality that matches with your looks okay the person on your mind how do they feel about you wow we have aquarius energy collaborate and we do have the star here so you may like maybe your top three could be like um aquarius uh a capricorn and um I'm getting either Leo and, or Sagittarius or you just may have all these like four signs in your chart okay because this is like the energy that's like keeps repeating themselves but Capricorn heavy 
I'm getting like a heavy Capricorn energy because we have the devil, we have Capricorn here, and we have Saturn, okay? But very disciplined energy. This is how this person feels about you. Like, you could build something on your own, but this person does not want you to do it on your own. They definitely want to add to you. They want to grow with you. This is how this person feels about you, okay? They feel like they could build a solid foundation with you. You're, you, you work, ah, wow, well, I can't speak. You work well with others, with Aquarius, collaborate, okay? So you're a great person to work with. You bring a lot to the table. You're very abundant. We have a lot of purple, so very regal, okay? Royal energy, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pile number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pile number three. Bye.